These LEDs are super awesome. They're great in small spots and can be powered with as little as a watch battery. But they have one issue, you can't cut them. Or can you? All the LEDs are wired in parallel with positive and negative on each side. Which is why you can't simply cut them like this. In order to solder onto these wires, we'll need to trim some of the backing. On most of the colors, it's fairly simple to see which is the back and the front. But on the red, for example, it can be hard to tell when they're off. So you can give them a little bit of power, or you can check for the diodes after you've cut them. Using a sharp blade, you want to carefully trim the backing until you see the copper, ensuring you get all the silicone off. If you're still using one of your leads, you'll only have to rewire the right-hand side. That'll be the opposite contact. But if you only want to connect to one side, you want to make sure that you have access to both of these wires. Once exposed, I use some flux and some solder to tin the ends. This also helps me see that I need to trim back a little bit more on this side. And now both sides are tinned nicely, nice and shiny silver. At 12 volts, it'll pull nearly one amp. I often run them at 11 volts, just so they don't draw too much power and they don't heat up. With the three volt variation, I also like to run them slightly under voltage. That just ensures that they don't heat up and also don't draw too much power. I'm using 28 gauge wire and carefully tinning both ends before soldering them together. After checking that I have a good connection, I need to protect the joint from any bumps, and I want to seal the silicone to stop any of the discolored light from showing. You can drop a tiny bit of hot glue on and slide heat shrink over quickly, but it can be a bit messy and the heat shrink can shrink before it gets in place. Or what I like to do is cut a thin sliver of hot glue off of the stick and then place it between the leads before carefully aligning the heat shrink. Now when I apply heat to the area, the hot glue will melt and the heat shrink will contain it. Now we have our custom length piece, powered from the one side, allowing us to make cool stuff like this light bulb. I hope you found that useful. I do have more time now, so I'm going to be making more of these, so consider subscribing to keep up.